I know that you're an inspiration to so many people, men and women, young women starting out in their sporting career, but your inspiration was your mum. Oh, thank you. And you, for, for you, it was, it was your mum who actually got you cycling, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. So, I mean, I guess for me, I've always had my mum there when I was growing up to inspire me and I couldn't have done it without her, you know? She chose cycling as a form of losing weight and like her determination to do so was absolutely unbelievable and that's sort of given me the inspiration, I guess, to do what I do today. I mean, she was amazing. She lost about eight, eight stone or something, didn't she? She, yeah. she lost tons of weight, got really healthy and got you out there cycling away because that was part of her exercise regime and you never know if she hadn't done that, maybe you wouldn't be sitting here with all those gold medals. Yeah, no, definitely. And, you know, for me now also, I'm part um, of a new project called the Soaring Cycle Project, which is exactly that, getting people out on their bikes. And to me, for me, that's really important, you know? And it's not just about the top level athletes, you know, like myself, it's about getting families out there. That's what's important to me. So, you know, if I can help inspire that next generation by being part of this project, then, that, then I guess that's exactly what I want to do. It's important to me now with Albie. Too, right now, do, do you actually ever cycle, you and your husband, who of course, I mean, the two of you between you, I think you've got about 10 gold Olympic medals, <laughs> both of you. When you're little boy, because he's only one just now, but when he gets older, will you cycle for fun? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, we take him out on the back of our bike at the minute. We've got, you know, one of those little seats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we take him out just for like a little, I guess, ride around our lanes, around where we live. Um, so he's already sort of experiencing it, I guess. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's great for him to do that. He's going to love it. He's going to absolutely love it. We were talking about inspirational women. And I know one of your mentors is Jessica Ennis Hill as well, who, of course, yeah. we know, again, an amazing Olympian. Um, and it's been nice to be able to talk to her. You're both mums together because you know what it's like when you're a working mother. You inevitably, you feel guilty when you're not with them. But then you've, you've still got to do what your passion and what you're good at. Yeah, definitely. You know, having Jessica Ennis Hill there has been unbelievable because she's done exactly what I want to do. And I guess I didn't realise how hard it was going to be. Like you say, leaving him behind, you do feel guilty. I mean, in any, I guess, walk of life, you're going to feel guilty leaving them because as a mum, as a dad, you feel that it's your job to solely look after them. Mm. And so it is difficult because, like, we travel around the world, we're, we're away racing and there's a lot of time where you're not with them. And I have found it a lot harder, I think, than I thought I was going to. <laughs> Has it made you more relaxed being a mum, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, like, it, it's almost funny. I almost see it in a completely different light now. I mean, as an athlete, you're really selfish. You know, everything has to be about you and getting you on that start line. Whereas now it's not really. Um, it's about Alwi and making sure he's happy before I go out and train. Um, and, I mean, it works great with Jason as well. Like, we're really... We're a great team, I guess. Um, and so it's great, you know, that if I'm training, then Jason's with him. And like, I guess we've got that kind of support that we need. Mm. No, that makes perfect, perfect sense. And of course, your husband retired, but came back. He couldn't not do it. It's, it's just impossible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. And you, you've really supported him in that. I mean, the both of you really support one another. Oh, I'm so glad that he didn't retire, um, retire in, well, he did retire. I'm glad he came back, shall I say, because for me, that's what I need. You know, I can't actually imagine going to an Olympic Games without him being there. He's been there the both times that I've gone. And like you say, you understand it because you're in it together. So it's not like, oh, why is she going out and just leaving Albie at home? Like, you know what I mean? He gets it because we're going through it together. And I think that is massively important. Laura, an absolute joy to talk to you, a true inspiration. Good luck with the project oh, that you're doing, you. getting, getting the nation healthy and out in the great outdoors and cycling. It's brilliant.